Another two piece to get into the three seed Baylor up against UC Santa Barbara. The Gauchos seventh tournament appearance and second in the past three years. Then at two o'clock, it's another 5-12 matchup, this time St. Mary's and VCU. We heard from Gary Parrish talking about that one earlier. The Rams are on a nine game win streak. Mike McClure still here with us setting up shop. This UC Santa Barbara game up against Baylor. Bears favored by 10 and a half. The total is at 141 and a hook. Of all the aspects of this, what do you like? There we go. You guys got me now. Looks like, all right. Gotcha. So it's a great spot to talk about uh, sports line here on this one. I played this game on Sunday. I went under the total 144 and a half. We've seen a ton of market move it down to 141. I still like the under. My computer makes this number 139. Uh, you got to look at the pace of play here. Both teams rake outside the top 250 in college basketball in terms of pace of play. This is a spot where we've seen Baylor historically come out a little flat, a little slow. I expect that to be the case here. And then I expect them to maintain that comfortable two to three possession lead. One where you really value the possession of the basketball late. Run a ton of clock here. Love the under in this game. The second game of the afternoon out there, St. Mary's, of course, a five seed for the second straight year. They're giving four to VCU. How do you feel with this one? Yeah, this one is fascinating to me. You know, VCU, one of the very trendy upset picks. Anytime you have a 12-5 matchup, you're going to see a lot of public interest in that 12 seed. This one's interesting because these teams are very, very similar. They play a lot slower. They play great defense. Uh, it's a more physical basketball game. However, I give the pretty significant edge here still to St. Mary's. Uh, my main concern for VCU is can they score enough? Uh, they do not crack the top 100 in terms of offensive rating. Now they're playing a legitimate top 10 defense here. I think St. Mary's has the overall talent edge in this one. I expect them to pull away, win this game by five points. A win for St. Mary's out there in that situation. Mike, of course, will be sticking around with us for a little bit while longer. To more games to get to. Recapping what he said so far, though, in that UC Santa Barbara Baylor game. Take the under 141 and a half. He wants it to go even lower because both teams play pretty slow when it comes to pace of play. As for that St. Mary's VCU, a lot of people looking for an upset. Mike says not so fast. Take St. Mary's at minus four. Mark at that two seed in the East. Shaka Smart, the Golden Eagles, trying to make sure the tournament gets off to a good start. You got to get through who? Vermont, the Catamounts. Mike McClure back with us. Picks on the other side. Two on tap for you midday. Check it out at 245. You got 15 versus two. The Catamounts taking on the Golden Eagles. Marquette and Shaka Smart against Vermont. Getting 10 and a half in that one. Then you got Pittsburgh, of course, coming out of that first four, taking on the Cyclones out of Iowa State there. Part of that Big 12 conference that we said, you know, might see a champion later on in the tournament here. That one at 310 Eastern. Let's bring Mike McClure back in here and shake something loose here. Look, it's a clean slate, Mike, for those games today. And let's dive into it. Vermont and Marquette, we know what these teams can bring. But Shaka Smart and the crew getting 10 and a half. What do you like in this one? Yeah, out of all the teams today, I think Marquette could potentially be on upset alert here. Vermont is a very tricky, high-variance opponent. Exactly what you want if you're looking to back a 15 seed here at this point. Uh, this Vermont team, they shoot a ton of threes, and they have a ton of success shooting threes. When you take a high-variance approach like that, that is how you stay in basketball games if you are able to knock down a few of those shots here. Uh, I think this is a great spot where they can also limit second chance points for Marquette. Uh, I think this game is going to be a very, very competitive game. We've seen Shaka Smart's teams really struggle at times in the tournament here. I think that they probably end up winning this game, but I like Vermont to cover this spread as we should see a one or two possession basketball game here in the end. Vermont, by the way, they won 15 consecutive games. As for Pittsburgh and Iowa State, look, the Cyclones, they didn't find out their opponent until after Pittsburgh got in after the first four. Does that play a factor for you, even though they're laying for the over-under at 131? 
Uh, it's a minor factor. You know, they did still know, you know, ahead of time which of the two teams it would potentially be. So they've got enough personnel to really start scouting and have enough time to prepare. Not any different than really any other regular season situation. What I'm looking at in this game, though, is the total. Uh, you know, I think the spread's mostly efficient where it's at. The total, though, I think there's room to go under this one at 131. Iowa State is a team we project to dictate their pace of play. You look at their play in the Big 12 when they play Texas, Kansas, Kansas State, whoever it is, they always end up dictating the pace of play, whether they're the better team or not. They rank outside the top 300 in terms of pace of play. They are only here because they are a legitimate defensive unit. But you know what they do incredibly poorly? Shoot free throws. They rank 325th in college basketball, making just 67% of their free throws. Missing free throws, limited possessions, great defense, an absolute recipe for an under. Let's go under 131. And defense is the reason why the Cyclones are in this picture here, the sixth seed in that side of the bracket there. All right, let's recap some of your picks here, just looking at those two games. Of course, Vermont there, you're taking them at 10 and a half against Shaka Smart. Look, he's had a run back in the day with VCU. We saw what he did a few years ago with Texas, but also running with the under here when it comes to the Cyclones and their defense against Pitt later today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.